lo sale wa yo wa yo sale wa ya lo lo sale wa yo wa yo sale wa yo wa yo sale wa yo wa yo sale tonight's about native culture in contemporary times right none of that victoria's secret ridiculousness no urban <laughs> yeah. centers tonight you have some real stuff right real people real natives right now right and so tonight we're, they're going to share with you some of their culture i think it's very important Anytime anyone shares um, some of their culture with you, we have to respect that and honor that because they understand the meaning of what they're wearing, what they put together. You know, and that's very important to many people. They're wearing regalia, it's not a costume, right? It's something that they're proud of, that their family has spent time on, that their tribe, their culture has spent time on. We're modeling a, par a fur parka made out of raccoon. It's a full length parka made by uh, Val Deacon, her great. Her great grandmother, Danielle is at the basket. Her grandmother is all the way here from Alaska. So let's give her a big round of applause for her grandmother. Native American uh, Week is important to all of us because it tells us that uh, we are important too, and we like to be. We like to show off what we have accomplished all these years. I think that it reflects the traditional culture because you get to see what we have done traditionally, the clothing and maybe some dances or sayings or songs or any of those cultural things. <laughs> um, but modern life, you know, we don't wear these kind of things anymore, so it's kind of interesting to see some people wearing more regalia that's more modern. I was born and raised here in, uh, in California, so I don't, I never grew up in the Alaska culture, but I would go and visit every year, so I know. I know things and being able to wear something that my gran great grandmother has made and it's passed down to her and passed down through our family and seeing the fur and animals that we use, it's, it, I definitely feel connected to that. I don't own this so I didn't have very many pieces, I only had a hat and some slippers but my grandma was coming right before the event so she was able to bring the parka and the mukluks. Oh I like it, I know she looks really nice in it, you know, it, it was mine and I passed it to my niece, but when she knew uh, we wanted it for uh, UCLA, I was able to bring it down, it made me really happy, because I wanted everybody to see Danielle wearing it, and they have. I actually haven't learned any how to make anything, and it's something I would like to do before her time is done. I would like to spend some time over there and have her teach me some of the beadwork, um, maybe learn some baskets too so I can be able to teach and show my grandchildren or my children that this is what we used to do in our culture and so I don't I don't know anything yet but I would like to <laughs>